Hey y'all, this is Ernie. I'm the Web Technologies Librarian at Paul Sawyer Public Library, and today's Tech Tuesday, I'm going to be telling you about a service we uh, provide here at the library called Select Reads. So from the main menu at the top of the website, you're going to hit Research, and then from there in the very first category, which is Books and Literature, once you open that up, it's going to be uh, sort of towards the bottom there. It's the third up from the bottom. So select reads with a couple of books leaning over. So when you tap that, that's going to take you to the select reads website. Now select reads is a book recommendation service, a newsletter service. So what it will do is it'll send you a newsletter each month to your email, recommending you different books in different categories. Uh, the thing that's specific or special about this one is that it's going to show you books that are available at Paul Sawyer Lib uh, Public Library. So it's not just a list of recommended uh, books that we may not have or we may not have yet. These are all books that are going to be available from the library for you to either check out or place a hold on or, or whatever you need to do. So for instance, if we went to sci-fi and fantasy here, if I tap that, that will take you to the December newsletter uh, for Paul Sawyer Public Library in the science fiction and fantasy uh, category. So these are all the different books that they've recommended for this month. So if one of them looks interesting, it has a, uh, you know, the author, when it was published, uh, a little bit about what the book is about and then from there you can actually tap on it and it'll take you out to our catalog where you'll be able to place it on hold or see if it's available for you to check out that kind of different thing so it takes you from the select reads website actually to our catalog uh, for you to deal with so as you can see that we actually have the library of the written uh, unwritten here in our catalog we even have it in this uh, an ebook too and if you tap on it there, it'll show you, hey, it's checked in, it's available for you. You could actually uh, put a hold on it to check it out through curbside or uh, check it out or put it on hold. Whatever you needed to do with the book, you would then be able to do it from within the catalog. So that's just a, a quicker way to get from the Select Reads site to our catalog to deal with the book that, that you're interested in. So there's a few other things you can do at the Select Reads uh, site. So for instance, uh, next two monthly newsletters is My Select Reads. And My Select Reads is just a different way to do what's on the front page, but you can just narrow down the categories specifically that you're interested in that may not be on the front page. So for instance, if I search for history here, there's a bunch of uh, different subheadings for history that I can kind of specify that I like uh, to get their, their recommendations for. So if I tapped in history and philosophy here, then I could subscribe and it would give me a newsletter uh, specifically for the history and philosophy category rather than just you know broad history. Uh, just kind of a different way to, to narrow down the recommendations that you're wanting from their, their newsletter service. Next to that is awards list. Now this is just a listing of the different award categories. Uh, and then from there you can tap in to see uh, what we have available at the library. Sort of the same way that uh, the book recommendation newsletters work. These are the same kind of uh, kind of thing, but it's just tailored to the awards. So for instance, if I tapped on the Pulitzer Prize for Fiction award list here, here are the Paul Sawyer Public Library books that fit that category. So, you know, right here's the Nickel Boys. Tap on Nickel Boys is gonna take me to the catalog, and from there I can see that's available and, and deal with it the same way as the others. So next to the awards list is new titles. Uh, this will actually let you subscribe to newsletters that will show you new books that are added to the catalog in these different categories. This is actually a separate service called New Book Alerts, but it's run by the same company. So it's just a different way kind of getting you to the New Book Alerts uh, subscription service uh, for newsletters. So, you know, I could tap on a few different categories here and then I could subscribe to the newsletter there on the right and it would send me any new things that are added to the catalog in those specific categories in a newsletter to my email. You can also tap where it says click here and it'll take you out to the new books uh, book alert site which here is just showing you all the new books that have been added to the category uh, to the library in the last 30 days is what they have it set up here. So then finally they just have author spotlight and that's just they will uh, pick two different authors where they're going to highlight their work uh, in these different categories and again you just choose which categories you want and then hit subscribe there on the right but this would just be for the author spotlight uh, specific subheading so 
Select Reads is basically just a, a way for you to find new books, book recommendations uh, from a different pay, uh, place that you may not have tried before. And the good thing about this one is that it's just going to be books that we have available here at the library. So uh, I hope that this is something that may interest some people. And again, if you have any questions about how it works or you're interested in anything else about it, just let us know and we'll do the best we can to help you out. So I uh, hope you all have a great week and thanks. <music>